Why Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec was drawn to depicting the lives of prostitutes is a multifaceted exploration into the artist's complex existence. Toulouse-Lautrec, despite the physical challenges imposed by a genetic disorder inhibiting the growth of his legs, managed the remarkable feat of portraying prostitutes in the 19th century without moral judgment. His life, spent on the fringes of society, was marred by constant ridicule due to his appearance, ultimately leading him down a path of alcoholism, institutionalization, and an early demise. Paradoxically, the only romantic intimacy he experienced was with prostitutes, for whom sex, given his physical appearance, remained solely transactional. Yet, in his art, he depicted these encounters with such tenderness that the torment of his loneliness remains obscured. Lautrec's sense of belonging in the art world was also tenuous, often associated with post-impressionists like Vincent van Gogh and Georges Seurat. This artistic group, itself comprised of outsiders, reflected the broader societal mix that Lautrec inhabited. Paris, during his lifetime, witnessed two significant cultural phenomena, the rise of printmaking and the explosion of the city's nightlife. As a keen observer, Lautrec witnessed the ascent of performers in dance halls and contributed to their promotion through his posters and lithographs, particularly for the renowned Moulin Rouge, where he held a reserved seat owing to the success of his promotional materials. However, Lautrec's appearance relegated him to the role of a constant observer, never fully embraced by the artistic community. To cope, he turned to self-deprecation and alcohol, developing a keen eye for caricatures, perhaps influenced by society's reactions to his own physicality. Despite this, his paintings never descended into cartoonish depictions, instead, they remained brutally tender and humanistic, reflective of an artist who spent a lifetime watching life unfold without being fully part of it. Brothels provided Lautrec with a refuge, welcoming him with open arms. Regular visits allowed him to sketch studies of the women as they awaited clients. Fellow painter Edouard Vuillard suggested that Lautrec connected with these women due to a shared sense of being societal outliers, describing him as a physical freak who found affinity in the moral penury of the prostitute. Among the numerous artworks inspired by these encounters, Woman Before a Mirror stands out. In this piece, a nude woman gazes into a mirror, her reflection intentionally blurred by Lautrec. The work signifies his refusal to cast judgment, even when viewing the scene from her perspective. Despite the nudity, the painting avoids eroticism or voyeurism, capturing an ordinary, fleeting moment. Even in more sensual paintings like The Bed the Kiss, depicting a locked embrace between a couple, the sentiment feels more tragic than sentimental. It offers a vision of intimacy and love that Lautrec was condemned only to imagine. In a self-protective moment of humor, Lautrec once declared, I have found girls of my own size. Reveling in the transient sense of belonging he found in Parisian brothels, he half-jokingly expressed, Nowhere else do I feel so much at home. This sentiment encapsulates the poignant dichotomy of Toulouse-Lautrec's existence, a celebrated artist on one hand, yet a perpetual outsider finding solace in the unconventional corners of society.